video I'm going to show you how to make low poly art in Photoshop. This is going to be a brief video. I'm just going to show you the basic steps on how to create something like this where you're going to download a photo and you're going to use these triangle shapes to simplify the details in the photo and then at the end if you want to you can add some color filters to make it look a little more dynamic. So the first thing I did on mine is I didn't really want to have to do the whole animal and it was very blurry on that side anyways so you can just get your crop tool and you can crop out part of the photo if you want to just focus on you know a certain part of the photo so I'm just gonna crop that like this and the way you make the selections for the triangles is to you can use the pen tool I think that's the best tool you can also use lasso tool but I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool. So what you're going to want to do is to make triangles over areas that have similar colors. So like on this area you can see that this is a perfect triangle right here so I'll go ahead and start with that. So when you're using the pen tool remember that when you click on a point do not drag and make these handles because that makes curved lines and we don't want anything curved on here it's all straight. So if you make some points and you accidentally drag and you want to get rid of it just delete that um, on your keyboard. All right, so to make a straight triangle, I'm just going to click once and let go and follow like at the top of the ear, click and let go. And maybe I'll make another point here. And then to close the path, notice how when I get close to that end point, the pen gives me that little circle next to it and the point turns blue. So I want to click there and now I have a closed path. To select that, you can just right click on your path that you drew and say make selection and leave that at zero and say OK. So now we have this selected. You're going to go to filter, blur, average. Filter, blur, average. And then it turns that shape that you made into the average color that you selected. All right, so let's make another one. I'll make another triangle right here. And I'll make this one a little bit smaller. It looks good to vary the um, sizes of your triangles. I'm going to close that one. Now I want to show you what happens. Let me zoom in. If you get where it's not like touching the next triangle, it's not going to look very good. So if you hold the command key and click off the triangle so that those points are not selected anymore, and then go back to and click on one of the points, you can click and drag the points to move the endpoints where you want them. So I'm going to move those. That way I'm leaving no gaps in between there. And then the next thing you do again is you right click on the path to say make selection, say OK. And now this time we don't have to go to filter, blur, average. It's at the very top of the filter. So you can either just click average here or you can do the um, control alt F to make that filter happen again and again on your art. So I'm going to do one more. Put a point here, here, click here, and I get my closed path like that. And then I'm going to right click on that and say make selection, say OK, and then filter average. All right, so if you want to deselect anything, it's control D. Just make sure that you're staying really close in and not leaving, you know, any space. If you accidentally leave a space, go back and make a really thin triangle. I'll go ahead and do that purposely bad so I can show you how you could fix that. So let's say I have a triangle here and I'm going to right click that, make selection, say okay. And now remember what I said, you can move the individual points, but if you forgot to do that and you want to fix it later, do control D to deselect. Just make a thin triangle that kind of goes in between those little, the area that you may have missed and just do the same thing where you go make selection. Okay. And do the average. All right. I hope that explains enough for you to be able to do your project. Just make sure that you use varying shapes of triangles. You know, there's some areas where you can have a big triangle where the color is similar. And then there's other areas where you're going to have some small triangles where you want to get details, where you have a lot of light and dark and changing areas. Like on the fox, on the white area, I would make sure that all my triangles that are supposed to appear white, that you're not selecting orange 
for in those selections too.